The owner of a tour boat that caught fire with 60 people on board off the Whakatane coast says his company isn't fully insured. 53 passengers and seven crew were forced to jump for their lives into the water off the coast of Whakatane before being picked up very fast by life rafts and boats who really did race to their rescue. The owner of White Island Tours, Peter Tate, was among those plucking passengers from the sea. He told me what happened. Uh, well, basically the, um, the boat was coming back from White Island on its daily trip and... Um, we got a call when the boat was about 500 metres, 500 to 1,000 metres off the bar. Um, well, actually, the Coast Guard got a call first and then um, the skipper called our sea ops manager who happened to be on one of our other vessels, the PJ4, and said that uh, the boat was on fire. Um, so, basically, he grabbed a couple of guys that were on the wharf. They shot out. I was about a mile away. I got the call from another friend who said the boat was on fire and I rushed down with my son and got another two staff members and we hopped on the Motorhora Cat, which is our third vessel, and rushed out and um, yeah, started the, the rescue operation and then after that the Coast Guard and a few other commercial boats from around here made their way out. So, But as to what actually happened, um, we're just not sure. I mean, obviously it's a fire that started in the engine room. We've got no idea how it started. Um, we're just so relieved that everybody was safe and the crew and the skipper did an exceptional job of, um, of keeping everyone safe. So um, we're obviously there's ongoing investigations, but it's a real blow to the company. That was our flagship boat. Um, Jenny and I started this company 26 years ago with a small boat taking six people out to the island and now we have a staff of about 50 taking up to 150 people a day out to the island, mainly overseas visitors. Um, so yeah, it's a real blow and, and we've got no idea how it happened at this stage. It does sound, and obviously it's a blow to the business and it must be terrible for the people on board, but it does sound like the rescue operation couldn't conceivably have gone better. Had you rehearsed this? Uh, well, we, ha we do rehearse all scenarios um, and we never ever obviously scrimp on any kind of maintenance on the boats. We are also lucky enough that because the boats that we use are purpose built for the White Island trips, they're both equipped with um, large inflatables in the aft end. So we'd actually only just last month bought two brand new inflatables from Germany, the best military inflatables that you can buy. And so by the time we got there, um, the crew had mustered the the, um, the passengers up to the bow, both on the Portuguese bridge and down below, and they'd also dispatched the inflatable off PJ-5, that's the one that was burning. And PJ-4 got there next, and they were able to deploy their inflatable, so immediately we had two reasonably large inflatables in the water and in quite testing conditions that were able to pick anyone up that um, you know as they had to jump off the bow of the boat. So... And further to that, we, we, we crew our boat according to numbers more for the, um, for the island, the tour of the volcano, which we sort of like to have 1 to, one to 12, 1 to 15 per, per group on the island. So hence, uh, you know, 53 passengers, we had six crew plus a skipper, which is probably unheard of if you were a pas passenger boat anywhere else. So we're very lucky in that respect. It must have been a terrifying few minutes as you raced out there to find out what was going on and see that everyone was okay. Oh, it was, it was just, I, I just can't believe how quick it was. I mean, it's a huge vessel. It was 73 foot, like, um, you know, it was just, it happened so quick that it, it was, as I say, and, and well-built crafts. I mean, these, these, this is the third boat we had built down the South Island, the traditional timber boats built like the proverbial um, two years, nine months it took to build that boat. Um, you know, it was a work of art and it was built for the heavy seas. It was, um, and we've just never had an issue with them. So it's yet to know, you know, mm. why the fire started, we don't know. But, um, but we know that, that everybody performed to the very, very best that they possibly could. So we're very proud of them. Yeah, I bet you are. Tell me about the people on board, the passengers, most of whom on a typical trip will be foreign tourists. How were they afterwards? Well, you know, obviously a lot of them jumping into the water were quite terrified. We had, 
at the stage they were they were picking them off with our inflatables, we had by that stage another three commercial boats out there plus the Coast Guard boat. So basically the inflatables were taking them to the nearest boat they could. Um, and some were, you know, really quite terrified. Um, but we head counted, you know, plenty of times to make sure that everyone was off. Uh, took them back to the first landing in the Fokhtani River and we all assembled at the Coast Guard building so that we could get a head count again, ticked off names. And even at that stage, the, the, the passengers were complimenting the crew. They were just saying what a marvellous job everyone done. But in saying all that, you know, as time goes on, you know, people get annoyed as well. They've just lost all their money, their passports, their car keys. And, you know, so we're dealing with all that at the moment. Um, we did put a lot of them up in our hotel the night, that night. We did have a few spare rooms. And so we're doing all we can, mm. but it's very tricky because, um, you know, there's been no blame set at anything. So we've got to be a bit careful about what we do, really. And what about the business, Peter? Are you insured against this kind of disaster? I presume you are. Uh, no, we're not. Oh, um, no. no, we're not. We've, um, I mean, the, the, boat, the boat's insured, um, and you know, business will carry on. We have we have the other two boats that will pick up pick up the um, the workload, albeit they'll have to work a bit harder until we can get our head around what we are going to do as far as replacing it in any shape or form. But um, you know, we just hope that well, the insurance side of it goes all right, and. Um, but it's a horrendous price to pay to try and get um, cover for loss of earnings when you're dealing with the marine industry or anything like that. So.